Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. A couple of months ago, we posted a video about why you would want to jailbreak your iPhone at the time that the jailbreakme.com uh, website was released, which allows you to jailbreak in one touch within about a minute. We talked about how jailbreaking really allows you to customize the iPhone in ways that Apple never intended, which is a good thing because Apple really wants you to live inside their little box of how a phone experience should be. We talked about how you can do 3G over FaceTime, how you could use your phone to tether to a laptop, how you could change the entire look and feel and experience of your iPhone. And in this video, we're going to do a follow-up talking about some other things that you can do with your iPhone once you decide to take the leap and actually jailbreak it. Let's get started. Now, if you want to use jailbreakme.com, you'll have to revert back to iOS 4.0.1 or 4.0. It will not work with the newest 4.1. There are certain ways to unlock or jailbreak uh, iOS 4.1, but they're a little bit more complicated. If you want the super simple way, jailbreakme.com, you're going to have to wait a little bit until they catch up and upgrade. So in this round of updates, I wanted to change several different things about my iPhone that were really bugging me. Number one, starting off with the lock screen. I never like the slide to unlock. I want to take that away and make it so that I can just tap the screen to unlock. Really, you don't need more than that. So there's actually a winterboard theme that allows you to take away the slide. So now I just tap anywhere here on the bottom and I jump right into the operating system. So yeah, it saves probably a quarter of a second, but it's nice to have especially if you're bothered by that idea of always having to slide to unlock. Number two, I really never liked how in order to respond to a text message, you have to interrupt what you're doing, go into the SMS application. It's really annoying. So there's actually a utility called T-Lert. That's spelled T-L-E-R-T. -E it's actually about $4 in Cydia, which is the jailbreaking marketplace. But what it does is it allows you to respond to text messages as an overlay. And you're going to see that in a second. Let's say I'm working in my calendar and I get a text message. What I can actually do is I can read the text message, I can close it, or more, more uh, ideally, I can respond to the message right from the screen without having to leave what I'm doing. And then it just goes away. It's a brilliant little application. It's well worth the four bucks that you pay for it. And it keeps you from being interrupted when you're doing something and you get a text message. Now, something else that I changed here is my whole layout of icons. A few problems with icons on iOS 4. Number one, folders are great for organizing icons, but they take forever to load. Have you ever noticed that? Even on the, on the iPhone 4, there's a second delay from when you press the folder to when it expands. And that's really annoying if you're trying to access an internet shortcut real quick or something like that. So I installed a winterboard theme that allows me to have five icons by four icons. Now, they wouldn't fit unless I shrunk them. So I used an application called shrink to make them 95% the actual size. I'll show you that in a second. So now what I have is all of my internet shortcuts, which used to be inside of a folder, laid out on the bottom row here. And all of my icons are smaller. They don't have labels, which is yet another winterboard uh, theme, so that everything is extremely clean on the screen. And I'm using five icon dock to give me five icons along the bottom so that they don't look too jumbled. I've actually used that application that I mentioned earlier called Shrink to make the badges, see where it says eight, a little bit smaller. Let me show you all of this in action here. So if I go into settings and I go into Shrink, so what I have here is a setting for page icons. So I can make them, right now they're 90%, I can make them really small, 66% and very small. Um, you really wouldn't want to use this unless you like seeing tiny things on the screen or if you are fitting maybe a 6x6 six six grid of icons on your screen. So I'm going to go back to my 95%. Now you can also change the dock icons. I have them scaled at 100% because they fit, but I had to remove, reduce the size of the badges. So before they were at 100% and you'll see that they get really cramped when you do that. So fortunately you can actually turn down the size of the badge icons to make them smaller and make them fit a little bit better on the screen. Now in terms of this theme that allows me to take away the icons and also take away the lock button, that's in Winterboard. So here we are in Winterboard and I've got two themes turned on right now. No Labels iOS 4, which is a simple little theme that lets you take away the labels. And also iPhone 4 Tap, which quite simply makes it so that you can tap to unlock. 
without having to slide to unlock. Pretty simple stuff. Now, of course, there are side effects to jailbreaking, and that's something that anyone will tell you is jailbroke on their phone. Once you start adding lots of things, you're going to compromise battery life, and you're going to compromise speed. I haven't noticed really a significant decline in speed or battery life, but there is a bug with all of these different things I've got going on. If I, if I slide to the right, the icons kind of don't show up sometimes. Sometimes they blink, and I can't move around icons. So if I try to slide this around, it freezes and you have to restart Springboard. Doesn't bother me too much because the icons are arranged in such a way that, you know, everything makes sense. But this is why jailbreaking is still not something that everyone does. There are problems, you have to be patient, but if you are patient and you're willing to mess around a little bit, you can really change the experience of your iPhone for the better. So that's it for a look at the latest changes I've made to my iPhone after jailbreaking it. Please leave a comment below if you've got an awesome must try jailbreaking tweak or utility. Please thumbs up this video if you liked it and thanks for watching. That's it for now.